don't know if you remember about this little cocker. Um, came to us because he was just starting to think he ruled the roost. He was just starting to think that he was in charge of everything. And he was just on the cusp of starting to dominate his owners, starting to bully his owners, starting to manipulate his owners by growling, snapping, uh, biting, showing signs of early stages of aggression uh, around the sofa around his food, around his toys, around his bed. Early, early stages of resource guarding behaviour or showing aggression towards possessions. Quite clearly we can't have that because what he was doing was, mate, come on, get on. What he was doing was he was just stumbling through life not with a clear plan. He didn't know in his little canine mind, didn't know what we expected of him, what was right, what was wrong, what was good, what was bad, what was his, what wasn't his. Um, what he could share, what couldn't he share, and the list is endless. So what we've done is, first of all, we've taught him boundaries, we've taught him discipline, we've taught him structure, we've taught him the key things between right and wrong. So we've set his mental state up and we've set his thought process up in a lot more of a simpler fashion. We've relieved him of the burden of not knowing how to go about his day. So quite simply, we've stripped all of that away and made his life or his, his well-being or his daily existence just a lot more simpler. If you're good or you're right, you get something great. If you're bad or you're wrong, then you don't get anything or there is an alternative consequence. With that boundary and with that structure, hello, come, come, sit. Good boy, good lad. With that boundary and with that structure, as you can see, we've now got some commands. We can engage with him more because he is thinking in a, in a simpler fashion. If he um, follows the command that we give him, then pleasure will come. If he doesn't, no pleasure will come. So we're making his life a lot more simpler to do. That then, he can, we can interact with him more. We've got his engagement, we've got his focus, we've got his interest. And then all that we can do now is just progress. Okay, so hello, come. Come, good lad, sit, good boy. So because he is now thinking like a dog, and I keep saying it, but that's what I mean, we are alleviating the pressures and alleviating all of those other mindsets that we do not want him to have to cope with every day because he is now thinking like a dog he gets it everything's life is a lot more simpler he's a lot more responsive he's a lot more engaged he's a lot more focused he's a lot happier because now he knows what we as humans expect of him good lad come on in come on in bub good boy good lad you're all right aren't you mate good lad Good boy, good boy, good fella, there you go, good boy, come on in, get on.